Anyway, this level's hard. This is why I don't want to play Storks. There's a bunch of like weird stuff that I don't know how to do. This is a Newbie Kaiser World by Azula18. And I played Newbie Kaiser World by Azula18, but it was a while ago. <laughs> it was about a year ago. Um, so there's a little bit of history with this one. Sorry, did I say 17? Azula 16. 18. I said 18. Gee, oh, where's my where's my head? Newbie Kaiser World by Azula 16. Now, if we go to version history, have a look at this. Okay. There was this one, 2021, March 2021. Now there's this one that's come out almost a year later. Now, if we go back to this one, the first release, why don't we, why don't we use the internet and find out what's going on with that? So this one is quite different. If we have, here's the overworld. Um, yeah, here's some levels, whatever. This was, this was a tricky level. Um, then there's this version that came out like 10 months later. And, you know, it's, it's very different. None of this. Look at this overworld. It's very different. Okay, these are totally different levels. And so it feels like it's a, a totally different ROM hack. I'm, I don't want to be negative, but I didn't really enjoy the first one that much. I didn't leave a comment or a down, you know, a bad rating on SW Central, but I didn't really enjoy it that much. So this is kind of the, the redemption arc. So, in this version, I lowered the difficulty at all levels, added a few more levels, gave the levels a better design, and took their opinions into account. If you want to play the first version, check the history. I do not recommend it at all. It's literally a different hack, is what Jez says. And so, we've got, like, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of positive, um... A lot of positive feedback here. The new version is so cool, says Granudo. Pleasant experience, the difficulty felt perfect. Beginners will struggle on the levels Grand Poo World and Garlic. This wasn't just an improvement, it's basically a completely new experience. First hack, six to seven hours for someone who it's their first hack outside of the thing. Yeah, nice and funny, very cool, 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 good stuff, fun and short. Everyone, look at this, all this positivity. So I was really excited to see um, what the new version of Newbie Kaiser World is. By right, Azula16. We'll start the timer, start the game, we'll watch Mario jump around. It's Newbie Kaiser World. Thanks for giving this newbie world a try. An easy version of my favorite Kaizos. I hope you enjoy it and chill. A newbie version of my favorite Kaizos. So I saw um, there were some references to levels called like Grand Poo World and Garlic, which are the names of ROM hacks. Um, so maybe these are just like, you know, shout outs to cool ROM hacks. Rofa's House. Press start and select to exit the level. I see a door. Whoa. Whoa, hang on, hang on. You gotta survive. Oh. I mean, jeez. I don't know his paws, huh? Check out the bros that are hanging. I guess Rofa is one of those people. Uh, cute Kaiser World by Slop underscore Core. If you haven't played Cute Kaiser World, you probably should. Yep. And if you think Cute Kaiser World's too easy, play Dancer to a Discordant System, which is Slop's other hack, which I highly recommend. Uh, I know this, dude, I remember this setup. This is in Cute Kaiser World. There's something very similar to that. Not the same thing, but similar, you know? Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Cute Kaizo 2 is coming out soon. This better be as good as Troy's playthrough. Did <laughs> I don't know if I can live up to Troy Fool Buster. But I'll try my best. It's Princess Kaizo Land. I haven't played Princess Kaizo Land. Is this something that I should get into? Whoops. Need help with Australian slang. Odin! Odin's mistake is here. Some of you might not know Odin. I used to see you quite a lot. You need help with Australian slang and you happen to be the only Australian I know. Hit me. There's a couple of Australians in here, so I feel like you can crowdsource some useful info. A lug bug. I don't know what a lug bug is. 
That sounds like something that someone made up. Do I have to kill this tiny boo? I don't want to. It's too cute. Oh, it is four hits. I was just gonna like style on it with the fourth one. A log bug is a beetle you can buy at the pet store that carries your stuff around. Okay, I do not have one. I do not have a log bug. Yeah, once I ever get your life back, you'll burn time on this. Man, you don't need to burn time hanging out here, but I remember you and I remember having a good time. Well, it's great to see you again. I'm sorry my slang is terrible. I don't own pets, so maybe if I was a pet person, maybe I'd know what a log bug is. Akagari Mario World. This one's by Mega Scott. And you gotta you gotta love Akagari Mario World or you gotta get out. Imagine not liking Akagari Mario World. But Akagari had um had vanilla music. So I don't remember this being part of the soundtrack. I, I know this is trying to pay homage, homage to a particular level that's kind of towards the second half of the game, I think. Hopefully it doesn't have that one move that everyone hates in it. No, that's it. Sick. You only got up to Ghost House and gave up way back when. The Ghost House is one of those points, you know. That's one of the pointy parts of the difficulty curve in that game. Um, I remember spending a long time on the ghost house. Jigoku Mario World. I also played this. I played Jigoku Mario World. Um, when did I play that? I don't know. A while ago. The point is, this one's by Arabam. A German creator and fantastic gamer as well. You can't miss out on Arabam. It's one of, one of my faves. Yeah. Jump. You were playing on a Wii input lag, yeah. I, um, I started playing Akko on emulator, but I did play it on a Wii, um, for a little while. Um, and I would recommend if anyone wants to play ROM hacks on a Wii, I would suggest get SNES 9X RX, not SNES 9X GX. It's, um, they've improved the latency on it. Some people don't know about that one. Wait, where do I get the key? The other thing about SNES 9X RX as well, they added support for lots of controllers. You can use like 360 controllers and all sorts of other stuff. All right, back to Jigoku to find the key. On a, like the good thing, yeah, if, you, if you're if you into like CRTs and stuff and you don't want to have a million um, consoles and stuff, you just want to get in nice and cheap and have something that outputs analog video, Wii is really good for that. Wait, so how do I go down? It's, it's not safe down there. All right. Interesting, so it, once you scroll up, that's kind of it. Oh no, I must have died on something. Yeah, it's probably like munches there, I guess. No, it's just a, it's just a weird level, I guess. Just go up. How do I do that? I guess I'll just... Yeah, it'll do. Whatever. Ever been to Tasmania? Yeah, I've been to Tasmania... Twice. Cute stars. And do I go this way? Maybe. We'll try it. Super Hark Bros. By Chris G.
whoops, sailed over it. The best SNES emulator for PC? I don't know, man. They, they all feel terrible to me, and I'm sorry to say. Um, SNES 9X is, is very laggy for me. I'm not going to say it's bad for everyone, but for my PC, I haven't played on a SNES emulator that felt good. Um, I'm just unlucky. I just find SNES 9X, even when you do the reduce latency option in settings, it doesn't change anything. It still feels pretty gross. Um, Bees Nest is supposed to have like a built-in run ahead option, but it doesn't feel like it does anything useful for me. Uh, RetroArch has the has a whole bunch of like you know run ahead stuff, and it reduces the input latency, but it still feels weird. So I don't know if I'm just being snobby, but it's one of the biggest barriers to me wanting to get into Lunar Magic is I have to test something on an emulator. Yeah, there might be some more things to look at. There's there's a lot of options in RetroArch about like how to deal with um, all the stuff in the lag menu. Maybe I don't fully understand it. I have no idea what this level has to do with Hark Bros. Just FYI. I've got a pretty good monitor, but I don't know how it works with, um... With 60Hz content running in emulators. Super Riff World. Riff World. I haven't played Riff 1. Hey, Eric. Yeah, I played Rift 2. I haven't played Rift 1. I'm not intending on ever playing it because no retry. It's just how it is. I can't deal with it. But hey, I can at least play this. I can say now... Got arrows pointing there. Yeah, I know. I had so much fun with Rift Two. Was good, except when it got really hard, and then you notice the lack of retry. That wasn't a one shot. Certainly, I died at least uh, once. Okay. Going up. It's Storks, Apes, and Crocodiles by Morsel. Oh, this is loud. Haven't played this ROM hack either. And I probably won't. It's loud, yeah. Let me let me turn it down. Some people just, you know. You just you gotta you gotta get all that all your levels, man. Gotta sort your levels out. Uh, spin. Spin. Anyway, this level's hard. This is why I don't want to play Storks. There's a bunch of, like, weird stuff that I don't know how to do. See, I had to, like, learn a sequence. It wasn't intuitive to play. Oh, that's okay. That already moved off to the right. Wait, so spin, spin. It looks like it's fun. It's a boss. Why is it that like stalks is like the first level that like that I'm not enjoying? Isn't that weird? Oh, that energy 
it suddenly changes when you play something like this. I'm getting stuck in the Resnor. Yeah, okay. I, I, I think Morsel is a fine person. I just don't want to play any of, any of their stuff. Isn't that interesting? Oh, you, you gotta hit him for more than once, okay. I wonder how many hits it is. Yeah. He's killing me from beyond the grave? What if I go to the right first? Nah, it looks like that was gonna be right in the way too. Yeah, man, that fireball. There we go. You almost shot me out of the... Wow, that last fireball though. Didn't like that boss? Yeah, it was weird. It's like you jump into the bottom of the Resnor and it like locks your X position. You lose all your X speed. Let's head to Nerfed Island. We got Grand Poo World. Do I just do that faster? Alright. Any mushroom for you? Unfortunately, I don't have any mushrooms to share. They're all for me. Whoops. Do not jump out into the void. There's nothing there to save you. Do not trust the jump. Big jump, re-grab. Uh, I did it again. I forgot what it was. I forgot where that section was. Okay, it's here. It's this one. Oh. I bet everyone does that. GG. Grand Poo World is done. I haven't played Grand Poo World 1 either. Once again, no retry. Water World, I have played this. This Water World was my favorite hack of last year. Let's see what we've got. It's a left level. We are swimming. Ah, oh, we're making this little fella jump. See you, Chuck. Uh, Alright, so building a bridge. Seems good. Uh-huh. Am I fast enough? Yeah, nice. Bullet. Uh, you can be very sloppy there, as demonstrated by the way that I played it. I see those Kaizo blocks. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really feel, I mean, it was a water level, you know. It was a water level, it had the falling platform underwater, that was a move in the second level of Water World, I'm pretty sure. Uh, garlic. Haven't played garlic either. I don't know who it's by, and I never intend on playing garlic because it looks ridiculous. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, that's fine. Is it fine? Can I sneak in, like... Like there? Yeah, cool. Ah, oh, is this the... Yeah, okay, this thwomp that, like, uh, the... Yeah. Play with this one in the goblin hack. I don't know this one. And there was something else in a uh, Waluigi world. Same deal. Oh no, it's layer that scrolly water. Yeah, yeah, the... that's right. The Y... Some interesting music. Whoa! Okay, hang on. Alright. <clears throat> Let's wait for the throw blocks, huh? Mm. You gotta wait for the platform. Get, you can die by getting hit by the side of the... I, I really didn't think... Ah, oh, alright. The the blocks can kill you. Yeah, alright, now I see why this is annoying. I almost one-shot this boss, I would assume. I got a few hits off. I reckon I got a, more than three shots done. I don't know, for all I know, there's ten. Could be one of those like annoying like standard kind of bosses where there's a million hits. Well, that wasn't a hit. Got to kind of aim for the top so it doesn't um, collide with the projectiles. Lived. I don't know how many hits that was. It was several. GG. Credits? For me? I barely got started. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the comments. Kangreo, Tio Ruffles, Yamoi, Cascade, Bun Bun Ashley, and Blue Ribbon High Life. The feedback helped me redesign the annoying parts of each level. I really took them into account. Testers, Red Kitsune, Elvis, Main Bros, Tio, Duende. Thanks to LX5, Russian Man, Kevin M, The BioB, Major Flair, Yoshiko Zeus, and Valdio. And again, thanks so much to you for giving Newbie Kaiser World a try. I did. Yo, reset. 11. That's it. There's 11 exits in the ROM hack, and I did 11 exits of the game. So that really is a quite a short and newbie 
ish kind of game. You like how humble the creator was. Yeah, the um, ZX, did you play the first version of this? The original release of Newbie Kaiser World? Because I don't think it was like super well received. I think a lot of people had some issues with it. Um, and so 10 months later, this one came out. Uh, also called Newbie Kaiser World. I think it was maybe a humbling experience to release their first ROM hack and then have a lot of people like point out a lot of things they didn't like and all that sort of stuff. I, I thought that was a solid little bundle of ROM hack. Sections were short, nothing was like, was really, there's nothing wrong with it, you know? The hardest level is Storks, Apes and Crocodiles, if you ask me. I died a bunch in that one. But overall, it was pretty chill. It's just, you just got to learn where to jump, I suppose. Man, I love playing easy Kaiser on hacks. I'm a beginner.